Why, hello there, and welcome to another Dar's vlog. Just making sure I'm not muted so I don't do this for nothing. Alright, so this is for the AMA. Um, I forgot to do it, but I'm going to do it now. First question Hey Dar's, do you have a champ you want to play, but the team won't let you? Not right now, no. Um, I've gotten over that. I think that I shouldn't be playing the champ that I want to play, but a champ that that's strong top lane and that's the best for the team because it's like my job. And if I I don't perform at Worlds, well, if we get to Worlds, if I don't perform at Worlds this year, then I'm not doing my job because. Uh, you know, I could play as good as I want during NASS, and then when it comes to international, I'll be like, you know, not mentally preparing myself or not having the champ pool that I can play. Like, there's lots of stuff that I can do, and that's my number one goal for this year to not feed at Worlds. So, moving on. What is the most stressful thing in your opinion about being a pro player? Uh, going on tilt, going on tilt's really bad. Um, sometimes I can't really get out of that tilt, that slump. It's it's not that easy to be knocked into tilt, but once you go on tilt, it's really bad. No matter how you try, you have to find your way to work around it, and that's what makes pro players pro, because you have to be good at the game and find out why you're doing bad. Will we see Sin soon? Not really, because he's kind of weak right now. You compare him to Sin just bad against Sustain, with Hydra, bad against Mundo, kind of bad against Shivana. He's okay against Renekton, but Renekton will still win lane 1-on-1 one -one. if the Renekton plays it well. He'll lose against lots of things. And mainly because he has a mana pool, and he doesn't do that much damage, so that's why I won't see that much singe. Did the recent Reddit post from your old Hawaii thing bring up any cool memories? Do you miss Hawaii every now and then? Yeah, I do. I look back on it, and I look at my old pictures, and I used to be pretty skinny. Now I'm kind of getting chubbier. And, uh, you know. It'd be cool if I could go back and just hang out with them every once in a while, but um, just got to do my job and go through this important point of my life. <clears throat> Honest opinion on Dignitas, lucky to beat C9 or Dongers? I think that game, they uh, Crumbs did amazing, that C9 game. He ganked top. He ganked bottom. He he changed the game, and then also, I think Scara played very well with Gragas too. It was a team effort, and even though they were losing in CS, and like you know, even if they didn't have the gold advantage when they're up on kills, they they played the kill phase so well that it made up for all the mechanical like CSing or objective errors that there were. Um, I think what made it really happen was uh, top and bottom did their jobs, and then Scar and Crumbs. I've carried that game. I think that's for, that's from what I remember. Um, I'm gonna be looking out for them. I think they lost to someone recently. They lost to did they lose XCG? I don't think they did. I don't know. I always like they they looked like they could uh you know, have the potential to win those games if if teams underestimate them. And I don't think C9 was underestimating them. I think I think Dig just played well. But I don't I didn't look through the game. I think um I thought they were like a real like I was I was surprised. I didn't like who's gonna vote for Dig unless you're a Dig fan when C9's like, you know, the Titan of America, you know. But um yeah, I was quite surprised. I don't think they were lucky. I think they earned it, though. That's for sure. 
Um, Zkent said CLG's bot lane is the strongest in the LCS right now. Do you agree with him, or do you have a different opinion? I think they have really, really good laning. Um, that's what Turtle and Expecial said. They have one of the best lanings in the game. But after laning, it's like it's dependent on the team. And I've seen derpy stuff like in team fights where it's a little different. But but for laning, I think they probably like lane the best. Maybe I don't know. That's what I'm just going off from what I hear. Um, so it's not far from like false. It's pretty true, I think. What do you think of LMQ and they're going to compete for top spots at LCS? Um, I think LMQ, when they first came in, they were kind of working off the jet lag. We've played against them a couple times, and after being here, I think they've actually gotten like even better than they were. I think they've been they've been playing a lot of solo queue, and they've been implementing what they learn into their strategies. Like normally, teams when you play against them, they don't really take much for you, from you, but if you beat them with something, they it automatically they just pick up pick it up, and they they. They do well. Um, I think LMQ, their their mid laner is solid, and I think what makes LMQ scary is their jungler. I think their jungler is probably like he's he's really fucking good. Uh, like there's no doubt about it. LMQ's jungler is just good, and um, can't say much else about them. I. Their jungler is just fucking really good. <laughs> um, who do you think deserves to be on the All Stars NA team? Um, for top lane, I I don't know how it's gonna work. But if I were to pick each individual player for top lane, it would. Uh, it would have to be between me and balls. I I'm not sure how I stack up against balls right now. I think he's he has I feel like he last hits better than me and he has good team fight. He doesn't really make that many mistakes. Um I don't know, we'll have to see when we play against them more. He definitely outplayed me the first C9 game and the second one he did well too <coughs> so in our match history against him we're 1-1 against him I think he was he did his job both games where he either carried or he had room to carry so I think I'd choose balls if it were me but um, lately I've been doing a lot better so I don't know that's also it's also on how well I do also depends on how the enemy team does so it's really hard to say um, for jungle Meteos obviously for middle Bjergsen for bottom lane for AD and support it's it's really hard to say because uh, how the bottom lane does is also up to the junglers and some teams are really good with their three on threes bottom, so it's I can't choose a bot lane. Um, if I were like just pure two on two, I'd just choose my own bot lane because I know that you know they've beaten SKT's bot lane. They've beaten like we're not even talking B like they they've stomped like OMG's bot lane. Terrible special have stomped like. Well, they didn't stop Ozone's bot lane, but they did well. They did really well against them. Uh, they, I don't know, on a world level, like Expecial and Turtle definitely like have overperformed in that sense. But that's just my opinion. You can take it with a little bit of grain of salt. Um, how's my exercise going? <laughs> <laughs> oh god I'm not gonna answer that I'm getting fatter 
Um, honest opinion on CLG, uh, other than the usual quote unquote they have potential, um, I think we haven't seen much from them yet. I think uh, Link did a good job filling in for Jungle, but we haven't got to really see how they do together. So they're still working on it, but they have to like, you know, speed it up if they want to compete for a top spot in America. Um, I think their players have the mechanics. Um, CLG as a whole, Nian, he, last time we played, I think Nian gets the upper hand on me a lot in scrims, but when it comes to, to LAN, for some reason, like, I don't know, I just somehow get ahead. Um, I haven't played against him recently, but if, as long as he plays his own game and I play my own game, it's uh, it should be pretty even. Um, for their mid, I don't know how mid's gonna go. I don't I know anything about Link at all. I don't know. I know Dexter was pretty good. He had jet lag when he first came here, so he just came back. He's probably still working into it, so we'll have to we'll have to see. And then their bot lane's good. Um, LMQ's bot lane's pretty good too. What was my favorite top lane meta so far every season? So far I've liked this season the best because I feel like I can actually ward for free and I just build tank and it's not like down to the wire where it's like snowball really hard. Although you can make it snowball, it's like, it's very easy for me. I get to work on my other traits of just communicating, you know, playing team fights properly instead of like going down to the wire every time top lane. I I would usually choke cuz it's super high pressure and it's not as high pressure anymore and I actually like that a lot more and it actually helps me as a player a lot more than it did before cuz back then I would play rumble and if I made one mistake then I'm fucked. Um and then I would go until on the ults like I'd rather play the top lane champions that are just solid and it's really hard to mess up on them if you just do it correctly I'm not doing the kill Mary fuck thing that's just a waste of mine and yours times maybe later how did you rise when you first started playing? Was it lots of practice or did you know it was strong and how to play it? Well, I just played Jax and he was OP. I played Singe and he was OP. And then he got nerfed, but I never played him competitively because I had too much pride or something. And I just played a lot. I played so much League and I still play so much League. Do you have any plans for when you retire at League? Um, YouTube. I was thinking about doing YouTube things like uh, becoming a personality. I was going to put a lot, a lot of effort into that. Um, and uh, go on to the next game. Like League's going to be here for a really long time, but there has to be some other game out there that, some other company out there that it's gonna be the next game, you know. Maybe Riot will make another game. Um, but other than that, it would be YouTube. And if YouTube doesn't work out, then I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna go back to. I'm gonna go to school, even though I don't think <laughs> I would do that well at school. I think I would just. Uh, I would find something, anything like related to video games. I would do anything. And if I could, if that didn't work out, then I'm not planning that far ahead. <laughs> Will you be my Valentine? Sure, I love all of my fans, but my girlfriend comes first. What is your opinion on Night Blue? I think that he did really well in solo queue the last season. I haven't watched him recently. I've been told that he hasn't been doing that well. Um, we'll have to see. He still plays the really strong junglers that are really good for solo queue. Right now he's a, he's probably a really good solo queue player. 
but um, as for competitive, we'll probably, we won't ever know until like it ever happens, but right now he's a really good, he's, he's a good streamer for those learning the jungle, if he does the commentary, I don't know how it is for now, but I know he did a lot of commentary, and it, it teaches the viewers about the game, and that's what's important, we need to teach and educate you guys about how to play League. Um, how to deal with haters, I think, uh, you just ignore them, just, that's it, you pick whatever you want, you have fun with the game, that's why you play League, you know, like, you do what you want, and if you're having fun, then great, if you're not having fun, then you might want to take a break from League. That's my advice. Um, I think that's mostly it for questions. We're just going to get the 10 point questions. And then I'm going to end this. Other than C9, who is your biggest threat in LCS and why? Um, it was Dig, but now I'm starting to think that. Uh, CLG is going to be up and coming now that they finally have Dexter. I thought Curse has potential too. And Evil Geniuses, if you look at their game against us, they should have never lost they should have never won that game. I mean, they should have never lost that game. They had that game in the bag with how badly we played. I went I got 10 kills that game, but that game was really bad. Um, if you look back at that game and the replays and all the mistakes and who we should be ganging for and what we should be doing for Dragon and it was a bad game. It was like a slop, really sloppy game. Like, like compare it to any other region, that's just a really sad game for us and for our standards. I think we played bad. Um, and Curse too, when they got our red buff, like any other top tier team would have just lost the game right there and they they overextended at blue like curse is still working with saint so um saint's got to ease into curse so i think teams are still up and coming it's really hard to say which one um i think that's it for this vlog thanks for watching and i'll answer the rest in text oh.